Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching. We are here with the QT Spring card kit reveal group number one. We only had two groups this time because it was a very short turnaround time um, because I knew that I would be super busy. So I just wanted to, you know, we did it pretty quickly. All right, so group one is Becky, Trish, and Heather. And this is how Becky's come packaged. Super cute and nice and crisp. Um, her YouTube is Becky Baker. So the rules were they had to package their kits nicely. Um, they needed to have an, uh, enough product to make four cards. And they also had to have the sample card. And one um, goodie that they like to craft with. Alright, so super cute. Hers is like a little handbag. <laughs> I love it. She's open it up like that. Oh, I love that. And here is Becky's kit. Okay, so so here is Becky's letter. She said, hello, my name is Becky Baker. My YouTube is Becky Baker. I'm sure you're wondering how I came up with such a creative and original channel name. Let me tell you, it took a long time, a lot of tears, and major spell check issues, but I finally came up with it. <laughs> yes, I'm a little bit of a smart ass. Always have been, probably always will be. I hope you enjoyed the cutesy car kit swap that I created for you via the Facebook group Cupcake and Crafting. Easter is my all-time favorite holiday, so I really had fun making all of this. The About Me part of the card is on the envelope. And my oldest son, who just turned 18, holy cow, had a Peter Rabbit nursery when he was a baby, and we had cottontail all over everything. That's so sweet. I went back and forth between Peter Cottontail and um, Baby Lion King for Corey, and then we ended up doing Baby Lion King. So. All right, so her cute little, oh, that's really cute. So her cute little goodie is that she printed up, and I don't know if these are just for me or if she made these for all of you guys, I don't know, but she printed them up in the cutest little spring patterns. That is such a great gift idea. I love that. She's a little rabbit, a little chicken, and some tulips. That is really cute. I love that. Great idea. And then she has a little notebook that says, girls just want to have fun. Because you guys know I love a good notebook. I use so many of these. This one's so adorable. Very cute. I think these are Hobby Lobby. Yep, Hobby Lobby. So cute. Her goodie that um, she can't craft without is the um, glue tube. I love these glue tubes. I have a little tiny one here. But it's so that way when you get like your big old um, things of glue, like your big old 8 ounce or 20, whatever ounce this is, um, you have something to put it in. And this is like the precise tip. I love these. And they're very nice for like when you go on crafts and stuff. Um... You have the precise glue tube. I'm putting this over here. All right. So this is her card. It is so cute. It's a little bunny peeping out of grass. She has the bunny stamp on the envelope. And it also says Cottontail Cutie. Oh, that's really cute. So it has the hello, the bunny with the um, bow, and she has glittered the little nose, the ears. So cute. And on the inside is a little bunny. And she just inked the edges green. Super cute. I love the contrasting with the cream on the white. I love that. So she has included, oh, extra, extra goodies. Oh my goodness. Here are all the pieces for the Cottontail Cutie. So you can do your envelope as is. And she also stamped them all. So you can go ahead and have your stamped envelope. And then she has her... I'm not going to, I'm probably not going to show you guys all the pieces. I mean, because you guys will see the sample card, what they have. Um, I think that'll make more sense. So she has included in here um, two layers, and it looks like you can choose between either watercolor or you can do buttons. Uh, buttons. Oh my gosh. Flowers. Um, buttons. Oh my gosh. And she has her card bases. She's also inked the inside, so you guys will have the exact same as this one here. The edges are inked green. Um, and then here are all the pieces. She has the hello. 
So some of them, um, she has various colors for you. That Okay, I'm going to open it. I lied. Y'all already knew this was coming. So she was very generous with these colors. So you have, you can make essential, they're all the same uh, concept, but with different backgrounds on these beautiful Easter papers. These are your inside layers. And, okay, no, that's not an inside layer. Oh, she, okay. So she double layered it with the cream. So you do a cream cardstock and you pick one of your backgrounds and then you're gonna layer it up with your hellos. Dixie, get out those bags. Your grass, your bunny, and then she did the different color. Oh, good, she already put it all together. That was really nice of you. So you can coordinate your hellos, you can mix and match. Super fun, and she's already glued it. <laughs> Thank you, girl. She's already taking the time to glue it because sometimes, oh, and she even included the little center, uh, the glitter pop dots for the bow. That was very nice. Okay, and then here are the inside bunny layers that are already inked and the bunny's already colored. And here are your card bases. Everything is already um, punched and ready to go. And she has also included, I'm not gonna put these away right now. She has also included two more goodies. And she did these really gorgeous um, paper clips with the Easter ribbon, have a little Easter egg, some organza, and some glitter ribbon. I'm gonna put that on my notebook for work. Now that I have a job again, I can put these on my notebooks at work. And she made these really, really cute little Easter rabbits, Easter bunnies with these gorgeous flowers, you can just pop up. Those are really cute. Thank you so much, Becky, we really appreciate it. And let me clear this for the next person. Next up, we have Trish, who is Creative Minds Creation here on YouTube. This is how hers come packaged in a, um, I was gonna say mint, oh my gosh, a spring green. <laughs> I can't today, y'all. And everyone's had their name on the top and she used one of these little wedding bags um, I got these same ones from Hobby Lobby I don't know if Trish got hers from Hobby Lobby but she might have all right let me take these out oh my god that's so cute okay so here's a bag it has like the little silver foiling thing um, Trish has included a tape runner thanks girl you could take your kit and put it together. Uh, Trish, uh, her Facebook and YouTube, Creative Minds Creations. Um, and she's also um, Crafty Manipulators here on Facebook, um, the sister page to My Coffee Cake and Crafting. Uh, her All About Me element are the flowers because though she likes making her fork bows, she loves making flowers too. And besides, they fit better. <laughs> that's that's so, tr so true. So these are her flowers, so cute. These are the scallop circle carnations that you guys know I absolutely love to make. And she did a uh, embossed folder, like a spring one. Guys, these are making me so happy. All this spring, and I've only gotten one and a half. <laughs> and here is her car, oh look at that guy. He says he's too cute, which he really is too cute. She even has her spring washi on here. Okay, so she did some, I don't know if this is watercoloring or she just did like an ink thing, the ink pad. Y'all know, I don't do messy, so I couldn't tell you. So here's her envelope, and she does have the little pieces in here for you to make your banner. Um, I don't, I really don't want to take everything out. So she did a little banner for everyone here, and she has the rabbit pieces, the flowers, the gems. Um, these are the inside pieces. I hear my dog growling, but I don't see her anywhere. All right, so here we go. So she has it on a gray layer with the spring green. And um, 
I think this is when you take the embossing folder and you smash in the ink pad and then it does something. Or she might have painted that. I don't know. It's a really cute technique. Um, and then she has a little too cute and he's a little Easter rabbit. And he has a flower. And inside she has a green layer with a, a piece of that spring piece. Spring piece. Spring cardstock. <laughs> And you could write your message there. Oh, that is so cute. I love this guy. He is very too cute for words. Oh, all right, guys. Let me clean this up for the next person. And finishing off group one with the extra special personalization. And yes, she did this for everyone. Is Heather Haney. And look how hers come packaged. Okay, I'm not even going to lie when I was opening up the packages. Um, so what I do is I open up the box and I put everyone's stuff in their um, envelopes and get ready to mail. Because usually I mail before I do the reveal videos. Um, but I was like, hey, Heather looks like me in that picture. <laughs> so, yeah, that was my little moment there. And I was like, oh, wait, no, that's me. <laughs> yeah, you know, what can I say? Some days... And Heather's um, item to go with this is a tape runner. I just popped the lid off. Thank you so much. I love that I can just pop these in my, um, my bag and I can do these wherever, whenever I want. Tape and everything. Actually, you know what? I should have left it stuck on there because when I go to do the kit, I'll just have everything all together. Does hit me. Anyway, so it had the really cute bow on it. You guys saw it all put together before I just try to destroy it, you know. And she did the really cute acetate box that we are all growing to love. I don't know. I hoarded mine for like a good three years before I started using mine. Okay. <laughs> so cute. And that's my favorite saying, perfectly imperfect. That is me to a T. All right, so here are her handmade goodies. It says shine. This is a handmade goodie in itself. That's really cute, I like that. And then she did some layered, um, I don't know if these are called tags, tickets. These are so cute, I love these. I'm really trying my best to learn how to do layered stuff like this. This is such a simple layer, but a wow layer. I'm going to definitely have to copy these because I have this punch. So Heather is a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Idaho. So you guys support her small business right now. And how cute is this? So I went to um, Idaho Scrapbook Show um, with Heather and I watched her just stamp and color and it's just amazing and it was so peaceful and I almost fell asleep watching her you know it's just <laughs> such a peaceful thing all right so there's her envelopes we don't need to take those out and her card has a pink base with an embossed um, layer and she's inked it and it, this is called the subtles I'm pretty sure this is the subtle embossing folder I have it. it's a 3d embossing folder I love it and she did a, a like a wedding cake and she colored all that and to celebrate and she has some little twine and the three little baby pearls and she did like the postage stamp i mean just such a beautiful card and i know it took a lot of time to do this and then she stamped a little um i don't know if that's a tulip but another little flower right there and your inside layer is white that is just so cute um, Heather's the reason why I bought a Misty because I was just watching her like put the stamp thing on it and stamp and oh yeah <laughs> you guys know how we like to watch that it's very peaceful so she even took the time to color everything for you so cute thank you so much Heather I love this and she has a little pearl these are the tiniest little pearls and I'm pretty sure these are stamping up as well I think everything in here is stamping up I want to say um, more than likely but thank you guys so much, Group 1. Uh, thank you, everyone, who made me one. This was such an awesome group, an awesome swap, and I know you guys cannot wait until you receive these goodies and um, 
whatnot. And I just wanted to show you this cute little card that Becky made. And it says, slay all day with a little coffee cup. You guys know I am obsessed with my coffee cups. And I love it. And I love you guys. And thank you so much for watching. And thanks for supporting. Make sure you check out all these lovely ladies' channels. Bye. Okay, sorry. One more thing. I did not open the, <laughs> the package all the way. So Heather actually sent some additional um, goodies for me. I mean, here is her little card. It fell out on my thing. And it says, um, she Heather chose cake to represent her because she has a crazy sweet tooth. Me too, girl. Um, I also went to school for baking and pastry, but I don't use that in the dental field, obviously. I chose pink as my base because it's my favorite color and pearls because I strive to be classy in every situation. That is so sweet. I love that. Yes, um, I wanted to go to culinary school for baking but I went in for education so these are just little extra goodies for me that Heather sent she sent some washi tape pink and red stripes um you're all that in a bag of chips that is so cute <laughs> I love that she sent some enamel dots and then the cutest little sticky pad holder and it has a little pen I love these I'm definitely going to put it on my desk because it says, hello, fabulous. And here is her little card, how she put it in there. I just wanted to get another quick video. I knew I was going to forget it. I put it on the side of my table and I was like, don't forget, don't forget. And of course I forgot. So here it is, guys. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.